Welcome to Health Connect from YRMC. Patients with hoarseness will uh, be referred to me usually when they've had hoarseness longer than three to four weeks. Uh, a patient will come in and see me who's had this hoarseness for a while and undergo an examination. Uh, and part of that examination will include a flexible laryngoscopy and uh, occasionally that'll include a video stroboscopy. Uh, these examinations give us the ability to di accurately diagnose uh, vocal cord pathology and um, uh, recommend appropriate treatments. Video stroboscopy uh, gives us the ability to essentially slow the vocal cords down during phonation. Um, the fundamental frequency of m most people, uh, meaning the frequency of their voices, runs about uh, 150 to 300 hertz. So the vocal cords are moving, cycling about 300 times a second. The human eye does not have the capability to uh, capture those cycles because it's so fast. What this does, uh, it takes a quick picture, about five pictures every second. Perfect. Takes those pictures at different periods during the vocal fold movement and it slows it down and allows us to see at the real or the apparently real wave that the vocal cords have. Uh, what this does is allows us to diagnose subtle conditions of the vocal cords. There's pathology such as cysts, uh, precancerous lesions, nodules, polyps, uh, papillomas, that uh, this technology gives us the ability to diagnose and evaluate uh, more thoroughly.